In this video, I'm going to show you how to blend multiple images together to create a surreal composite in Photoshop. Hey guys and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial and in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create this composite. We're gonna be combining multiple images together to create a composite. I'm gonna show you how to make the giraffe look like it is behind the mountains by using Blend If. And we're gonna also add another image in the foreground and match the color and the luminosity. So to start, you're gonna need to remove the background of the subject and I used the pen tool to do it because the background is busy and also the pen tool is more accurate than the other tools. So after you trace the subject using the pen tool, right click on the path and choose make selection. And now we need to refine the hair. So click on any selection tool and then click on the select and mask button. From here you're gonna take the refine edge brush and paint on the hair to restore some of that detail. Now in the output options you're gonna make sure to choose layer mask and click ok. Ok, now that we have the subject masked out, we're gonna scale it down and put it behind the mountains. First, you're gonna need to match the light direction by flipping the image, and to do that click on Ctrl T, then right click and choose flip horizontal. Now you're gonna scale it down and put it right here. And don't worry about the legs, we're gonna use blend if to hide them. So now to make the giraffe look like it is behind the mountains, you're gonna double click on the subject layer and you're gonna modify the blend diff settings. We need to hide the giraffe where the underlying layer is darker, which is the mountains, by dragging the left slider to the right. You're gonna see that it will start to disappear from the mountains and when you reach the point that it will start to disappear from the sky, you're gonna stop and then hold alt or option to split the slider and make a smoother selection. In this case, there are still some parts of the legs visible, so I added the layer mask to the layer and masked out that part of the legs with the brush tool. Ok, now we're gonna need to match the luminosity, because as you can see, there is some fringing on the edges of the mountains and we need to make the giraffe lighter to match the luminosity of the background. So create a levels adjustment layer on top of the subject, then you're gonna need to create a clipping mask by holding alt or option and clicking between the two layers. Then you're gonna drag the bottom slider to the right to make the darks darker. So this adjustment layer is also affecting color and it's desaturating the image. So to prevent that, change the blending mode of the layer to luminosity. Next add a hue saturation adjustment layer and create a clipping mask. Increase the brightness a little bit and also change the blending mode of this layer to luminosity. Now invert the layer mask and then take the brush tool and make this visible on the legs by painting with white. You can also reduce the effect of the levels adjustment layer by masking the top part of the subject with a big soft brush and a low flow. Ok, now it's time to paint some shadows and highlights. So create a curves adjustment layer or any of your favorite adjustment layer on top of it, increase the brightness and then change the blending mode to luminosity. Again, we're gonna paint this adjustment layer on the edges, so invert the layer mask and then use the brush tool to paint some highlights on the edges of the subject. You're gonna repeat the same thing with another curves adjustment layer, this time decrease the brightness and paint some shadows on the right hand side of the subject. The last adjustment layer you're gonna add is color balance and you need to increase yellow and red in the midtones and highlights. At this point your subject should look like this and the color and the luminosity are matching with the background. Ok, let's add the second image, we're gonna need to remove the background first and for this image the easiest way is to use color range. So go to select color range and click on the background to select it. Then hold shift and click to select more areas of the background. And you can also use the fuzziness slider to add more contrast. Once you are done, click ok and then add a layer mask. Now to see the layer mask, hold alt or option and click on the thumbnail. As you can see it needs a little bit more work, 
So to clean the layer mask, you're gonna take the brush tool, change the blending mode to overlay, and just paint with black on the background to completely remove it. And to enhance the subject, you're gonna paint with white to include some of that detail to the selection. After that, you're gonna import the image to the document and align it to the canvas. And I'm gonna also crop the bottom part of the canvas using the crop tool. First, let's match the luminosity by creating a levels adjustment layer and clipping it to the subject. And then you're gonna darken the image by making the whites and the midtones darker. So that's before and after. Next, we need to match the color and you're gonna add the hue saturation adjustment layer and desaturate the image a little bit to match the saturation of the background. And I used the layer mask to remove that effect from the subject. Now add some color to the mountains by adding a color balance adjustment layer on top of the background layer and increase the yellows and the reds a little bit. Okay, next you're gonna add another color balance adjustment layer and clip it to the subject layer and also increase yellow and red a little bit. Alright, the last thing I added is I applied the camera raw filter and to do that you're gonna need to create a stamp visible layer first by clicking on Control alt shift e and then go to filter, camera raw. So this last step depends on your personal preference. But what I did is I increased the contrast and the vibrance, added some details, and increased red and cyan. Alright, if you liked this video and you learned something new today, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel because I'm gonna be posting more compositing tutorials in the future. And if you want to take your Photoshop compositing skills to the next level and support the channel, you can check out my courses at retouchstudio.com where I go in-depth teaching advanced Photoshop compositing techniques by creating practical real-world projects. So that's it for me today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.